Hello, everyone. It is with great pleasure that I'm presenting this talk today in the CP 2021. Uh, the, the focus of my talk will be on the uh, mis misalignment effect on the fatigue failure behavior restraint of steel cruise from worried zone. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the support of the founding of the fundamental agents and industry partners. This particular presentation is an analysis of the, the basic fatigue properties of a high-strength steel welded joint considering the missing alignment, uh, but as, uh, as part of a large project of design and analysis as well as uh, um, manufactured sh ship and uh, some marine welded components. Um, the, mm, some background and the mo motivation for the work, as many as you may know, within future uh, industry development, one of the effective way to enhance the uh, the welded uh, the the enhance the light weight of structures uh, to increase the strength of steel uh, by uh, increases the, the by uh, decreases the thickness of the plane. So uh, in this Structures, uh, there are some problems are uh, are mm, uh, are very common. The first one is about the mis misalignment effect. The second is the wording, the deformation, the decline, and the further uh, a further decline of the fatigue effect. So, uh, for these problems, we can uh, we can uh, improve the, some solutions to. Uh, uh, to solve that, that problem. First is to uh, uh, is to control the quality of the welding, such as the low uh, energy or preheating or post head treatment to um, uh, to uh, to solve the, uh, the, uh, the the distortion about the welding structures. Um, uh, and another strategy about the uh, uh, about the uh, about the distortion uh, too is to uh, uh, to design some anti-distortion uh, machine or, 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 or technique to uh, solve to solve that problem. Uh, but how about uh, but for this uh, welded joint about the mis misalignment if, uh, effect? How about the the fatigue property? And uh, uh, it is the uh, great important for the fatigue. Uh, life prediction. So the <clears throat> study of AMS and the in investigating uh, the misalignment effect of the cruise from welded joint in our study. And uh, uh, the second AMS, uh, M is about the uh, analytical model of the fatigue indicator for RCWG considering the misalignment effect. And the third is about the fatigue failure transition of RCWG considering the uh, uh, misalignment uh, effect. And in the future, the, uh, the possible application of this study uh, can be located in improving the fatigue life pre prediction of worded joint. The second is, uh, uh, is to quantitative assessment, uh, assess the misalignment affected, uh, effective effect on the particular property in RCWG. Well, uh, <clears throat> the experiment about the cruise form jointed plane, uh, uh, considering the mis misalignment effect, can be seen from this picture. And we cut the specimen from this plane. The, finally, the, strap, finally the, stress, the specimen about the uh, plane can be divided into uh, two types. The first is about the, uh, the, ang uh, the angular uh, misalignment effect, and the second, uh, the second uh, part can be can be can be defined as the uh, exo uh, mis misalignment uh, effect. About the uh, specimen uh, specimen uh, details. Uh, of the material specimen uh, 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 scales uh, sizes and the uh, failure uh, criteria 
and the fatigue testing uh, details are presented are, pre uh, are presented in this page. Um, the uh, the angular and uh, the uh, axle misalignment uh, uh, picture can be seen from this picture from the from this picture. So uh, um, we test uh, this uh, this specimen in the MTS machines. Uh, the fatigue failure uh, analysis considering the misalignment uh, uh, effect uh, uh, can be uh, evaluated by the local opportunities such as the SED method uh, and hotspot uh, method and uh, the effective not stress method. Uh, according to the, uh, the notch theory, uh, the notch stress intensity factor can be drawn by this picture and then we can dedicate the, um, the, 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 the notch stress uh, according to the, uh, uh, the notch uh, stress intensity factor and then and the, the similarly the SED uh, values can be dedicated from, uh, from the, the notch stress uh, uh, int intensity factors um, uh, for this method, it is very common to access the word uh, joint and the structures using this method. So uh, for the um, for the uh, for the axial misalignment and the angular misalignment, uh, the uh, SED analysis of, uh, for the different location uh, can be evaluated. Uh, in these figures, so we obtain the, the difference um, of the different potential uh, failure uh, points considering the axle and the, uh, and the angular misalignment effect. The effect uh, of uh, uh, misalignment on the uh, SED uh, values uh, were presented uh, uh, in this page. Uh, the uh, considering the axle and the angular. Um, Types. So, uh, the um, according to this re result, the penetration, uh, the penetration uh, uh, lens has uh, 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 has uh, obviously uh, affected, uh, influenced on the SED method for W uh, for for where the tour over the road locations. Based on the SED method, we uh, established the, the um, analytical uh, solution models to predict the uh, the fatigue uh, the fatigue indicator SED or SED uh, values uh, considering the uh, considering the axial misalignment and the angular misalignment. Uh, from this result, there is a good agreement between the FEA. And the analytical solution models. Um, um, the uh, the uh, corresponding uh, 3D contours about the world two and the world root are uh, given like this uh, in these figures, and um, the transition curves of, of uh, between the world two failure and the world root failure uh, are drawn uh, uh, on the basis of the 3D contours. So these curves can be uh, these curve variations uh, considering the axle and the angular uh, misalignment are presenting presented in these figures. The fatigue uh, test data considering the misalignment uh, effect are uh, are evaluated by the no, uh, nominal stress and SED method, uh, hotspot method, and effective notch stress method. Uh, about the SED method, we can uh, 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 we can see that the different uh, 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 we can see that the different uh, uh, standard curves are are, are compared um, by the uh, testing that uh, by compare comparison the test data. Uh, Mm, this is about the error analysis about the, uh, about the SED method and the uh, mm, and the transition prediction curve prediction. Uh, 
uh, is uh, accessed by the SED analytical uh, solutions models. Uh, from this picture, we can see that uh, um, the model can be used, uh, can be uh, predict the uh, the world is rule failure uh, failure area uh, uh, greatly. So the conclusion can be drawn as follows: the SED uh, calculated by the FEM or B uh, analysis and results show that the different uh, uh, penetrations have uh, uh, a great influence on the world the root and the world the two. The effect of misalignment on the world the two is greater than the world the root. Uh, and the effect of misalignment on the fatigue mode of fatigue is significant with the increase of uh, uh, angular uh, uh, angular effect and the, the exo fatigue uh, effect. Uh, the fatigue uh, mode is more inclined to failure and uh, the world to otherwise the world rule failure. The second uh, conclusion is that the fatigue, the fatigue and analytical solutions of SED model of uh, LCWG uh, are fast calculation with different misalignment can be used to access the fatigue test data. It is proved that the, the prediction for fatigue failure transition region is effective compared with the experiments. Uh, uh, However, some of the prediction of the fatigue is re um, relative disappeared because of the section uh, uh, secondary uh, stress. It needs to be optimized, uh, including other uh, influ uh, inf uh, influencing uh, factors. Thank you for your attention.